just hanging around in my aunt's house. I call her my aunt, she's not really my aunt, but she's my mother's cousin. But I have always looked at her as my aunt. So, I'm gonna go out and do some exploring, I guess, in the area. And uh, But first I need to buy some new underwear, because obviously I brought way too few. And after that I might go try a Harley, and after that I'm going to my sister's house. Barbies, 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 Disney, Disney, Emo Barbies! <laughs> so everyone's helping. <laughs> you got it up? This is my third cousin's son, and he's gonna be awesome like me. Look at him. Give me five. <laughs> Three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my way into this Harley dealer now because I'm going to test drive a Harley. I mean, come on, how can this be any better? This is an awesome end to my vacation. I get to run Harley and it's freaking awesome. I really shouldn't test drive Harleys. I was this close to buying it. 130,000 Norwegian crowns for a fat boy. I don't know how much that is in American dollars, but I'll post it right there. I don't know if you guys can hear me at all now, but I was like this close to buying a Harley. This close. It just, it was so lovely to drive it. It looks good, it sounded good, it had a Screaming Eagle stage one kit, so it's a little bit faster than original. My mother could have driven my car back home and I could have taken the Harley, but I gotta face facts, you know, I, I had to take up a loan to afford it and uh, I just got rid of all the things that I owe from before, so I would have to start all over again and that would suck. But again, I would have a really nice bike that's worth about 150000 so I, would, I could possibly make money on it if I sold it after one or two years. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be responsible and save up some more money and then buy it with a lot less loan. Take you back from vacation. Take you back from vacation. Hi Moose. Hi Moose. Hi Moose. You're not afraid, are you? You're not afraid. Yo. No. Ooh, I got killed. I want food now. You want my food? My food is better than yours. You want it? No? Why? Don't be shy. Where's my food? You can't decide anyways. <laughs> oh fuck! Train is coming! Oh, hi mom. Hi guys, long time no see. 
So you had this much field and still you had to lay on the wheelbarrow. In Norway we really love chrome on our cars. We're actually so fond of a chrome. We chrome basically anything. Like mooses. Huge ass mooses. What? You never seen a chromed moose before? I wish I could have been a fly on the wall of the chrome guy's office the day it got that cold. Hello, it's chrome. We were just wondering, do you chrome anything? Well, we chrome most things like wheels, fenders, hood ornaments, frames. Yeah, we chrome a lot of different things. What's up? What do you have in mind? Well, we have a 45 foot moose. Can you chrome him? Oh, uh, what now? A moose! 45 foot moose! With antlers and everything! Woo! And it's rest time! It's the first day back since I was home which uh, Rust is open, my antique shop. So now me and Kenny is going to the antique shop and we're gonna have a blast. It's, um, we got a new computer system in and everything's good really. And uh, yeah, I hope we can sell some cool stuff today. Maybe buy something too. And I think this is gonna be awesome, Kenny. Gonna be a good day. The weather is not exactly Perfect, but it's not raining. Many hours later. What an awesome start of the day. There's been so much people in the shop today. And uh, oh, I'm just so grateful that people take their time and come into the shop and talk with us and uh, tell us stories about things. I just think it's so great. I love that. And uh, then my <clears throat> and then my hearing aids uh, went out of power and I hadn't any batteries on rust. So now I'm on my way to uh, a shop in Olsen that sells the batteries I need. And when I'm done buying batteries, I'm just going back to rust again and hopefully there will be a lot of people. And uh, yeah, so far so good.